Hi there, so I want to show you a device that we use to record the pianos at Robert's Pianos Houston. And uh, what I use it to record little pieces, and I don't actually use it in the videos very much, but it's nice to record pianos, it's very simple. Um, it's very easy to use, it's called a Zoom H6 recorder. And it looks like this. It has uh, which tracks you have armed will be here in red. So the left and right is this left and right here. And then it has different inputs for different microphones. You have up to six microphones if you change the capsule on the top. Basically what it does is that um, it has all the interface for recording inside the system. It also has a metronome. So if I'll just zoom out here a second. Put this here. The, there's a metronome on here under the menu section which is a bit complicated to use, but it's um, very effective, very simple, which is kind of what you want, really. Metronome, you got your tempo, which is 70 right now. You got your pattern, which you can change to whatever you want. You know, 5-4 is a bit, comp I don't do 5-4, but I, do. I never do 5-4 already, but maybe I should, 4-4 four, four or 6-8. You can, you can drop it down uh, into the piano. You can buy one of these stands, which I can link to if you're interested. And then you adjust the volume for these two microphones, which are here. They come with the they come with the device. You can adjust it here on the top how much gain you have. And as soon as this starts to flash, that means you've got too much loudness, so you have to decrease the number to decrease the gain of the microphone. Then using this stand, you can pop it down into the piano, and you can put it somewhere around the treble to the bass strings in the middle. Because what happens here is you have left and right microphones, one's going that way and one's going that way. So by using this you can record both both sides of the piano. So I'll, I'll do a test now so you can have a listen to it. And um, I'll put my headphones on. Well I won't actually because what I can do is I can monitor this volume here. If it gets too loud then I'll know that um, it's peaking. You can basically get a demo going if you're doing like practicing and you want to hear yourself or you want to share something with your family or even if you want to record simple piano pieces. I've recorded quite a few with this microphone setup. It's very simple and then if you've got a good pair of headphones, don't use the big chunky ones because the metronome, you can hear it on the recording. But if you're recording with that one, obviously that's fine. But if you are using chunky headphones, um, you might have overspill, which is audio coming from the headphones back into the microphone, which you want to avoid. So I use these closed headphones, and like, like, a, and you you plug it in, and um, you can hear, you can hear the click track.
right? So if you're filming your piano, or you're recording your piano and you want it to sound great, you might want to learn how to tune it a little bit. And um, I'm not saying to tune it exactly right, but uh, to get rid of some of the wobbling sounds, you can learn to tune your own piano. And I'll just show you very briefly how we do that. If you're, if you're playing the piano and you're doing recording on your, an acoustic piano, you might notice that there's imperfections in some notes. So what you can do is you can call us and we'll tune it for you. But if you want to just do a recording and you've had it tuned already maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, you might notice there'll be one or two notes that are imperfect. So what happens in a professional studio is that they, they go and they fix those notes between every single recording session. If it's a really high paid session, they'll have a tuner waiting in, in a room somewhere to come in and correct the piano between sessions. But that's like really expensive and not everyone can do that. So if you're just doing it for, for fun or you're doing it, you know, you've got lower budget, which is probably most of us, um, then you can correct some notes. I'm not saying you're gonna tune the whole piano. The tuner's gonna tune the whole piano, but you can learn, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna do it constantly, you can learn to tune a couple of notes. So if we listen to this piano here, if you listen to that A flat there, that B flat, very wobbly, so it's unpleasantly wobbly. So what we can do is we can use a tool like this, which is a tuning wedge. We can come in, test which string of the three is out of tune. Now this is, you've got to make sure you're doing the right string. When you're learning how to do this, it might be a bit complicated, but what you've got to do is you've got to make sure on the right string. So if I put it on this right hand string, the left hand string is wobbling. So that's, that's the one. If I put it on the left hand one, it cleans the sound up. So that left hand string is the problem. Okay, here's, so here's how it works with the pins. Left string, the top pin, middle string, and right string. Left, middle, right. So I'm gonna correct the right left hand string. So I'm gonna put the tuning wedge on the right hand one, which is fine. And listen, just listen to two, the one that's bad and the one that's okay in the middle. It's not perfect, but maybe that's as good as you can get it. That's much better than it was before. Still a bit wobbly. I would still correct it more, but you can make some small corrections there. Like here, the C here. It's pretty bad, so I'll put it in the right hand one, which is fine. And tune the left hand one. So if you feel brave enough, then you can try tuning your own piano couple of notes here and there, especially if you're recording, that can be very useful because as a piano tuner, obviously it could become expensive to tune it all, all day, every day. But if you get it tuned once and you want to correct it, you could possibly correct some of your own notes. Just a thought. And if you've got any comments that you want to share on which microphones you use, whether you actually tune your own piano a bit here and there. I know some people live very remotely and they tune their own piano because they have to, but that I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think about it. Uh, recording pianos in general. I know there's so many theories out there, but we, this is a very simple solution that I found that works without computers, without complex gear, without plug-in microphones, no cables, just one device, which makes it very easy. Thanks for watching. My name is Evan Roberts and see you here soon. Thank you very much.